Hi, Donna from Posture Plus and DonnaEddy.com or what's going to be known as DZen, which is the uh, word for Hito, which is for the people. I am here for the people and my mission, vision and values are what I'm filming for today. And that was inspired by a task as part of my board duties of looking after one of the leading natural therapies associations. And it got me thinking that I've not shared my mission, vision and values publicly. So here goes. Why am I doing what I do? Hmm. Um, many reasons. Of course, all of them are personal and my life is my work. My work is my life. A dear friend gave me a little saying that I still have above my desk actually about mastering the, the art of um, living and I truly am, you don't know the difference between when I'm working, when I'm playing because I'm always doing both and um, I'll give you a little tour of my quirky little house and how we set things up here because my life is my work and my work is my life and it is <laughs> evident in the way I actually live. But I'm here for mission, vision and values. So my mission is um, it's just organically evolved from my whole entire life and I smile and laugh because as a little wee one, I was very clumsy, uncoordinated, and I was written off by the medical fraternity, which back in the 1970s was very common, and my mum wouldn't have a bar of it. So instead of me needing, um, being a special needs child and needing extra help and, and not going to mainstream schools, she was determined to get me up to speed, so to speak. So movement has been the main thing in my whole entire life since I could first walk. So for those who are of the 70s vintage, 80s vintage, it's still around nowadays, but I did physical culture um, and apparently would always fall over. That obviously instilled a passion for movement because as you will find out if you don't already know, I created a program called Posture Plus. My whole life and work is revolves around movement, teaching people to move. And I've been teaching since I was 15. I moved on from the physical culture. I moved on to gymnastics. And then at 15, I started coaching, got my first qualification or certificate, my strength and conditioning level one at 16. I think I was 16 when I was allowed to do it and then got level two and then moved into many other things from there. So the why behind why I do what I do has been ingrained in me since way back when. And to be able to open movement for people, to see people, their whole world changes when they can move. And then from a therapy point of view, I, I became a therapist through injury and having that journey which although I was terrible at the time I truly understand back and sciatic pain I still get back pain today but the difference is I don't suffer with it that's the key thing that I try and teach and instill in people is you will still have bad days um, back pains and it's not your pain if you can separate from that and it is a sensation from the body, the back is having a bad day or whatever it is, then that separates things and the intensity um, can be put into perspective a little better. And then the motivation to look after oneself is innately driven. And if we can get that um, innate inspiration happening and that intrinsic motivation going, then that's, that's a win for everyone. So my mission is to have daily movement practice, people getting on the floor, living on the floor. Um, maybe that's going a bit too far. Getting on the floor every day and um, movement breaks and quality movement part of the, the schooling system. 
So that's my mission. My vision is for this all to be in every household, every school. Posture Plus is that in between, if someone's injured themselves and they want to get back to their sport, back to work, back to whatever their activity is, yoga, Pilates, um, pole dancing, whatever it is, Posture Plus is that in between. It's it's learning to trust the body again. It's opening the movement really consciously using the brain, using neurological drills, using psychosomatic drills to really unravel the tension, which for most people is usually many decades and many layers deep. But if my mission succeeds, then we won't have those layers to unravel. There'll be just incidental things, accidents happen, um, things do need to be unwound and, and corrected. But those unconscious imbalances, those psychosomatic traumatic postures, we'll see a lot less of those because there's more awareness. And if people are doing this from early on, um, funny, funny side story is um, my son has been around this and I've worked from home since having him. And a friend of his jumped on him one day because our place is the playhouse. We have a living room, not a lounge room. And um, my son went, oh, my spine, to which his friend just looked at him perplexed and said, what's a spine? And then he proceeded to explain. And that's not because he's more intelligent than his friend. He's just been exposed to anatomy and the body and me teaching people how to move and do the therapy work in, in front of him. So if we learn about our body at that age, we're going to avoid, we're going to pick careers that suit our body length, structure, composition, and we're not going to have injuries and, and issues that we've seen from the older generations due to no awareness of the body, no education around the body and, and no guidance about what would be ideal for their body type. There's certain things you do well at and there's certain things you shouldn't do simply because of your body type. Um, I've had people change careers after seeing me because someone who's six foot three being a roofer is not a good idea. They just, destined for disc issues and back pain. So still in the building industry, but not a roofer. Um, no, that was the first one that came to mind, but there's, there's been a few. So um, someone who's super hypermobile will probably gravitate towards teaching yoga or gymnastics, uh-huh, me. But if they don't balance that with the strength work, um, then there's issues that can can bound from that because their body's already loose and lax. So they can demonstrate things and make it look very beautiful, which is great, aesthetically pleasing, maybe a little irritating for the participants, but um, they have to make sure that they balance the what's easy for them and and do the opposite. Same case in point, you see mostly guys in the gym to get those trophy muscles where they really should be in the yoga, Pilates classes, yin, yin stretch classes, um, and the females should be in the gym doing the strength work. So, um, and then there's extremes to everything, but I digress. We're, we're looking at mission, vision, and values. So my mission is to inspire daily movement practice for everyone and learning about the body at a young age. My vision is that daily movement practice is just part of the day. We have living rooms rather than lounge rooms and that that movement is part of the school curriculum. Um, and it's not just one hour of PE or PDH health, whatever you call it. Um, it's multiple segments of movement to break up all the sitting and counteract the sitting and keep kids stimulated neurologically, calm emotionally and focused for what they do need to learn. Um, it just baffles me that this is not already part of the system. And then the last part of this now very long video, um, values. So, um, you know, the core beliefs that sit behind all of this is um, just, you know, 
open open source everything i've learned i've learned from someone else it's not mine i've curated it i've put it together but it's pilates it's stretch therapy it's foundation training it's um chi ball it's chi bolster it's um, embodiment embodied yoga practices it's so many things that i've put together and i'll continue to add to when i find things of value because I'm always looking for what is effective, efficient, easy to teach, or I break it down so it becomes easy to teach and, and to learn. And I don't want you coming back <laughs> in pain, suffering and not getting anywhere. My mission is to be redundant and, you know, teach, teach a person how to fish and um, they can feed themselves for life. That's the philosophy behind what I do. And my values of openness and sharing and caring uh, hopefully comes across in my work and that is what's behind it. I want to teach you to look after yourself and then you don't need me. You choose to come in to learn more or to challenge yourself in a new way or to dive off into more of the um, psychosomatic emotional stuff or to go into more of the, the low tox, um, minimalist living lifestyle stuff um, and play with the lifestyle medicine side of things. Not that you are in dire straits and you have to come in, otherwise, you know, your life's not worth living. It's, it's, that's not helping people to me. So I don't want to coming back in, um, week after week for the for the therapy come back in week after week for class because you'll always learn something new but that's how I always ran things is uh if I could have you come to class on a weekly basis or more if you wish and only see you once every two or three months or three or four months then that's mission accomplished for me is I'm teaching you how to look after yourself you're catching yourself in your bad habits you're changing things that are not good for your body and you're looking after yourself. Everyone learns about computer systems and their cars, but they don't learn about their bodies. So that's my mission is to teach people how to look after their bodies. My vision is everyone's looking after themselves. They've got the skills, they've got the knowledge, and then they just come for accountability. They come for variety, for something new. They come for a bit of a laugh and some banter and just to check in on their progress. And it's all done with with love, sometimes a, 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 a gloved fist <laughs> if need be, sometimes some direct and hard words just to crack open some things that, that need shifting. And other times it's super gentle and super slow and it just depends on the person. So a long way around of explaining the mission, vision and values of what I do. Um, within all that, there's a lot that I do do from the therapy side to the, the um, movement side. And then there's the public, there's the providers that I'm coaching. I'm teaching others how to teach and be able to provide this for their clients. Um, there's so much that I do, but it all encompasses, it's all wrapped up in movement. So movement is my passion. Movement is why I'm here teach people how to move, look after themselves, and I'm a happy person. Thanks for listening and um, join us in whatever we're doing, wherever we're doing it, whenever we're doing it. It's, it's all up on the socials and we're going to be having a lot of activity coming in the coming months.